joined here by assistant football coach Jason Slowly and coach appreciate you joining us today yeah thanks for having me and we just chatting before you know talk about your career you know a lot of people know who you are but just kind of walk through you know you were all-american here for the football team you get drafted just kind of walk through what would that was like for you to play here get drafted and just kind of how, how that all that came right. together for you um so yeah I, I came here from North Medford High School um I redshirted and then, and then played for four years and then like you said I was lucky enough I got drafted in 2012 in the sixth round uh the Tom Brady pick actually 199 to the 49ers um and I was with them for a little bit I got cut and then I spent about a year and a half with the Raiders um and then I had a back injury I was out for a year and then I uh, had a short stint in the CFL and then was able to come back and coach so as it's good at having success here as a student athlete and being able to come back and you know be a part of it as a coach now is something I think is awesome. So. Yes, yeah, so how neat is that to go from you know being a small town guy here? You're at you know Monmouth at Western Oregon University and you go to play you know in the NFL. I mean, what was that like for you as a player to first get that step and get the call and go yeah. do that? That had to be pretty cool. It was uh, it was awesome. I mean, it was definitely a different experience um, from playing at MacArthur Field to you know Candlestick Park at the time. Um, but it was awesome. Like I said, I had a lot of veteran teammates like guys like Randy Moss were on our team people that you know grown up watching so just to be able to continue to play the game that I love and then learn you know from some of the best in the game coaches and, and players was just an awesome experience and there's I picked up a lot of things just in that short time that we still try to use today as far as study habits and how we approach our, our daily business with our position group you know, say how much has that helped you know, from the time there and then you know how you can relate to the players like hey I've been there you know and you've had other players like Kevin Boss go through and even Tyrell Williams right now I mean how neat is it that you can say hey these guys have gone up we've been there and you know help inspire the players to say you can get there too I mean, it's we, awesome. we did it you know? I mean like Western it's a small school and we're in a small place but I mean like you said we've had a lot of success getting guys to you know have an opportunity to go on and play at a higher level whether it be like the NFL or we've had a lot of guys play arena in Canada now and, and so it's just nice, you know, that you know you can come here and be able to play for four years, you know, maybe be a four-year starter, get your degree, graduate on time, and still have that opportunity to, to play pro ball. You know, that's something that everyone kind of, or a lot of people aspire to, and sometimes people think that, you know, going to a Division II school is going to limit you with that, and that's just absolutely not the case, not just at Western, but a lot of places. So it's awesome that it's kind of changed in that, in that way. How about the transition for you to go from being a player to a coach? Was that something you always wanted to do, you know, when your career ended and, and how that all come about for you? It's funny. It's something I actually never wanted to do when I played because um, I wasn't a big fan of practice, especially like individual, which is ironic because that's probably my favorite part. But I was an ed major. Um, I was an elementary school degree, so that's, I wanted to be a teacher um, before I even thought I had an opportunity to maybe play after. So when I got done, um, you know, I still kind of wanted to be involved in football or athletics and it just kind of seemed like a good fit with, you know, a lot of the coaches that were are here, the guys that coached and recruited me. So it was a familiar setting and, and it's a lot like teaching for me. So, I mean, I feel like I had some experience there already and I was able to kind of pair that, that ed background with the stuff I'd picked up in football. So it worked out as something that I, I wasn't exactly trying to do my entire, you know, career and growing up, but it's definitely something I really enjoy now. And talk about, you know, fall camp's going to an end here. We're about to yeah. get to game week. I mean, we got the last scrimmage about to start behind you here. But yeah. talk about what you've been seeing with the fellas so far throughout fall camp, getting ready for the game next week. It's been great. It's feel like it's been the fastest one we've had. Um, we finally started to get some heat. I think we were out in, like, 99 the other day. We're probably about somewhere here today. But it's good. I mean, uh, we have a lot of guys, especially on defense, returning. I think when we lost two starters with uh, Heiberger and, and Molden, and we got Heiberger helping me coach now. So, I'm, you know, it's been really exciting seeing I've got a guy that's going to be playing for the first time at outside linebacker, EJ Hag. Um, so to be able to see him play for the first time and get significant reps has been exciting, as well as the guys that are back, like Jalen and Nate, you know, so. You end up coaching linebackers. Was that a spot that you aspired to do too as a coach? I mean, how did you end up doing linebackers? No, you know, I mean, you go from line to linebackers. That's kind of an interesting transition. You know, you know? everyone says that. And, yeah. you know, I, when I first came back, I coached with Manning O-line a little bit and some tight end. And when I made the switch to defense, it was, I, you know, something I wanted to learn more about that side of the ball. But it was good because we were transitioning into our odd personnel at that time. And what we run now is really similar to kind of what I had seen when I was on P-Squad in San Francisco with, you know, Jim Levitt was there. And so they ran that at Oregon. So that 3-4 stuff that they run is kind of what we run now. So it was a familiar transition for me and the blitz stuff and being able to kind of try to mess with the box. And I understand that. I understand the game and the line of scrimmage. So I really enjoy it, actually. It's awesome. All right, Coach, last thing. You know, you got six home games at MacArthur Field. We, we were talking about throughout your career and even as a coach, you know, you don't have too many times you get yeah. six home games. How exciting is that to know you'll have, you know, 
half, more than half your games here right at home. It's awesome. It's got to be the first time in decades, it feels like. I mean, uh, it feels like we're always on the road, you know. So, I mean, to just start off the season at home or our second game at home, being with, you know, Commerce coming here, we're really excited about that. And to be able to finish at home, too. We don't think it's something we haven't been able to do in a while, have our last game of the regular season, senior day, be here at MacArthur Field. So, we're really excited to have those six home games. Hope we can get all the fans out there. And I'm excited to get out to the tailgate area with those guys after us. It's going to be great. All right, Coach, we really appreciate you taking the time today. Of course, best of luck this season. We'll be catching up with you soon. Awesome. Thank you.